chest day today. So I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna show you guys a fucking awesome chest workout. Um, I actually, I meant to talk this, talk about this in my video last time, but it just didn't fit properly. But yeah, that last video where you guys saw me deadlift, I actually hurt my back one of those days. Um, and it was weird because I was, it was my last set of my last rep. And I'll just set up the camera and show you guys exactly what happened. Um, but I don't need that for this. But I'm, I'm absolutely destroying the weight that day. And I'm like, all right, I clamped my belt on one extra thing too tight. And I was just like, screw it. I'm just going to finish the set. And that'll be important later why, why when the fucking one clamp is too tight. But I go to pull and my back just like pops and snaps and like I immediately drop it and I go straight to the floor, right? And it took me like, it took so much willpower like just to like get off the floor of the gym. Like I, for some reason, like I could barely fucking get up. Like, I don't know, my legs just like weren't getting under me. My back hurt so bad. And um, the reason why this happened, so you guys don't do this, um, was one, like I said, I was not lifting consistently, right? So my mentality was like, all right, I'm gonna come back and lift hard as shit and super heavy. And I felt super strong that day. So I was like, all right, it should be good. But in reality, I shouldn't have jumped into those, those heavy weights like that soon. And I should have done like at least a week of working up. Um, but yeah, and then that on top of having the belt too tight, um, I was unable to get like a proper brace. And if you don't know what a brace is, it's where you're like, you're basically pushing out your ab muscles against the belt and it helps you to like stay super stable and it like prevents any like you know back movement from happening it just keeps you nice and secure but it was so tight that i was unable to and it was literally just like constricting my body and like that combination of things and then i just luckily though i don't think i did anything super serious i got some work done on it got it all tuned up i'm still gonna stay away from uh deadlifts and squats for a little bit but when you get like when you get a minor injury like this, um, just like something that's like you know you didn't like break a bone or tear something off the muscle, but you don't want to be super afraid of it. I know like something like this might happen, you might just cold turkey it forever. But like today, I'm gonna do my reverse hypers just to get blood flowing in my back. I could do some like barbell squats with like no weight or 135, or you know I could deadlift just the bar just to get the movement back and just like. I don't know, make progress towards healing it. And too, it's not like I, it's not like I haven't been working out though. It's like I've still been working out, but it's just like you have a couple of days here and there, and it takes you like a week to get back to like that where you're just like peak performance. And then another thing happens, and then it's like, all right, fuck, it takes another week to reach that peak performance. That's why like people stress consistency so much, but it's just so fucking true. Like it takes three weeks of training to probably get to a point to where you're like properly acclimated and then you want to sit in that for as long as possible but it only takes one or two days of you know you know say you go out and party say you're you know not sleeping at all or you know you're you're pulling all-nighters and stuff like that like those days can just like fuck up that whole thing so yeah that's super important in my opinion but let's go to the gym i'm yapping my gums quite a bit so i'll see you guys i thought that this would be interesting to hear but this is my first time bringing a tripod to the gym. <laughs> literally, this is literally my first time bringing a tripod to the gym and I'm unbelievably nervous. <laughs> Cause normally every single video you guys have seen have either been recorded by like me, or been recorded by myself, Gabby, or like, I don't know, rare, rarely a friend. And I just will set the camera on like, I'll just set it on like a fucking another machine across the room and just try and get the shot, but, or like on a chair or something. But I think it's time to, I really want my videos to look a certain way. And it's just like, I gotta fucking get, get that shit out of my mind. Like, I don't know. I just don't want to be in people's way and I don't want to fucking make anybody uncomfortable, but you know, everyone's, nobody really fucking cares, honestly. So, you guys know what I'm talking about, I think. But, yeah, we're gonna go now.
a five rep max at uh, 245 incline. So I'm gonna need to lift off in a spot for this, but yeah, hopefully I get it. <laughs>
right, you guys, so um, the chest workout actually went really well. Lately, I've just been doing like, uh, probably like three, yeah. Yeah, today I did three chest exercises. Only three chest exercises, but I'm going like, Basically, if I need a fourth chest exercise, because my chest is, like, not yet, like, completely destroyed and, like, I don't know, then I'll add, like, I, probably two sets of another thing. But just lately, lately three sets, uh, not three sets, lately three chest movements, um, you know, at around, like, three to five sets, depending on how it's feeling, um, has just been has just been working out really well for me. Um, yeah, but yeah, just like doing three, you know, main movements for that muscle group for the day, has just really been working for me. Like my pumps are better, I'm more full throughout the day and I feel like I'm not like, I'm not just like throwing weight around for no reason. It, it feels like more purposeful. Um, and I'm able to be really strong at those movements. Like today I did 245 on incline for five, which is, <laughs> Um, I wish for some reason my chest felt like a little bit scary today um, but so I wasn't going I wasn't like touching my chest on those five but as like my chest opened up I did my working sets I was able to like touch my chest but it just felt a little dangerous like with the range of motion but other than that I felt like damn strong today like and also for some reason you guys saw on tricep push down um, it's kind of dark whatever um, you guys saw on tricep push down, like I'm maxing out the tricep push down and like adding, you know, four of those, five of those, actually it's like six of those fucking five pound things. And it's just been like still, like I'm still able to get 12 reps like after a couple sets. So triceps have been feeling fucking awesome. But oh yeah, also I've been sprinkling like just slightly more shoulder volume in because I'm doing less exercises for the like the main chest for the main muscle group so I'm able to do like I'm able to focus on like more weak point stuff and still have the energy for it and still have like the fuel for it I guess you could say so yeah I'm just trying to I'm really trying to bring up the shoulders and arms again just because I don't know if you've got big shoulders and arms like it just looks really good so my chest is my chest is pretty, like, I don't know. I think my arms and shoulders are not really proportional to my chest. And I'm not saying my chest is big by any means, but I just, as far as, like, symmetry goes, I just want to make sure everything's, you know, growing together. Um, and what's really unfortunate is, like, my back got hurt, right? So, and I was feeling insanely strong on squats, but... Yeah, my back got fucking hurt, so hopefully my legs don't shrivel up. I think tomorrow, yeah, maybe tomorrow I'm gonna do some like leg extensions, hamstring curls, light deadlifts, light squats, just to like, get back to the movement, but yeah, that'll probably be it. But honestly, like, if I go in there, do five sets of like really hard leg extensions, I bet I'll get, I'll bet I'll see some like quad hypertrophy from it. But um, yeah, so that's kind of like my plan. But, okay guys, so we are home right now. And I've been messing with my camera settings a little more, so let me know what you guys think. Last video I tried doing like log, a little color grading, a little bit of that. I don't know, it might have looked a little corny, a little oversaturated, but I just, you know, I'm trying to, trying to learn new shit, so I just gotta test it. But, um, yeah. But yeah, lately, um, as far as supplements going, guys, I've just been, I looked in the mirror when I came home, like, five, six days ago, or whatever the hell, and I was just, like, so fucking disgusted with myself that I was like, I need to, it's time to fucking lock in, like, so you can, I, everybody can be guilty of this, you know, but fucking, you can be thinking you're doing the right thing for so long, you know, but in reality, you could be fucking missing the mark by a pretty significant margin, you know, you may, you may feel pretty fucking sweet, but... Until you hit that low point. Until you look in the mirror and you're like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck have I been doing the past two fucking years? But, um, taking fish oil. I've been taking a lot more fish oil. And fish oil, uh, 
it helps with a lot of things like mood, fucking joints and shit, heart health, everything. So, fish oil. I've been taking magnesium. Um, I just like taking magnesium because this shit just feels good. I've been taking my vitamin D. Um, this is all revived stuff, by the way. Um, I've been taking L-carnitine. Can't be getting no sleep. Like, I have to be, you know. Otherwise, I'm going to look like a sack of potatoes. I'm going to look like I've never worked out in my life, so. I don't know. I just kind of came to that realization. Like, I just still need to be as, like, even more locked in than ever just because, I don't know. I, I really want to make progress now. I'm bulking now, so now is the time to, like, eat as best as possible, train as hard as possible because I'm eating more, so I'll be making more gains and everything. Like, like because I'm bulking, the things that are going through my mind are like, okay, I'm bulking. I'm gonna stack 10 more fucking pounds on here because I have the fuel to do it. Like, I technically should be able to do it. So that's kind of what, like, that's kind of always what I've done. And that's kind of what I'm doing now. Now I'm outgrowing the fucking whole entire fucking cable pushdown, so. It's, it's really exciting again, actually, to be like progressing and PRing. Like, dude, that's why, that's why I needed to do this bulk so bad was because just like I had been so lean for so long that I was I, like, I, I don't know, I've just been thinking about shit lately and I'm like, fuck, I'm not making any damn progress. Like I've just been lean, like I've been kind of bulking on and off, like, and then get fucking traveling, getting lean again. And it's just like, it's been fucking eating at me, dude. So I've just... I've just been trying to like really lock in and try and put on some fucking muscle, dude, for like again for once. Like this is definitely the leanest and biggest I've ever fucking been. Or this is the biggest and leanest I've ever been in my life. Um, but I'm tired of just being like small, like 170. Like I'm tired of that shit. Like I wanna be I wanna be like a big fucking guy, you know? So I'm just gonna try and get there. So yeah. Did you press the salt into it? Yeah, I heard it. Ow. Oh my god, Scout. Say you're sorry. Say you're sorry. <laughs> Good boy. Sit. He's not sorry. Sit. Shake. 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 What kind of limp shake is that? <laughs> I'm just going to show you guys my fridge a little. Um, so here, got onions, some fruit. But I've just been eating a lot of Chobani's and... You know, it's just so, it's like an easy 140 calories, 10 grams of protein. I just fucking slam them, and they're really yummy. So those, chicken packets. Um, I've been trying to eat more fish, but yeah, just like more variety of like proteins and stuff, because I'm, I don't know. Yeah, salmon, chicken, milk, orange juice, more onions, eggs. But yeah, it's pretty basic shit, just like a lot of it. A lot of whole food, so yeah. And then rice, rice of course. And yeah, that's all I really, that's all we've been eating. But shit, like, god damn. We're probably gonna eat these in like, what, a day and a half, two days? Yeah. yeah, so. That's gonna be decimated. The steaks just came out of the oven, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I have to go. Mm! <laughs> yes. No, it's definitely gonna be rare. Yeah, but it might be fine. A little uh, rare. It's a little rare, but fuck, that looks good. Some people like their shit like that. Yeah. We'll just put it in for like 